Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from A Kiwi's Tinker Crate. We of course have another box in today, and as you can read on the front right here, it does say Friction Climber. Uh, now, uh, not real sure exactly what this is, I have some ideas, but uh, let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside, and get to building. All right everybody, so uh, here's the stuff. Uh, as you can see, we've got a handful of things, a few things in some bags, and uh, some things like string and whatnot. Uh, first thing we'll go through is, as usual, the Tinkerzine. And in the Tinkerzine, of course, it shows uh, roughly what some of this stuff is. It shows kind of the science behind it. Here you can see somebody kind of climbing up a, a rope here on a tree, and you can see a little sloth there. Uh, it shows some people, looks like some people on, uh, on a mountain there and uh, talks about friction and a few different other things in there how things work looks like it shows a couple of things that we're going to be doing like maybe a gecko and a, and a sloth uh, and then it looks like a spider as well so uh different different things here uh, a few different ideas it looks like it has some other stuff in here as well uh, other things that you can do and uh, lots of good information there to uh, understand about friction and, and uh, the way that it's used for climbing and other things. Uh, next thing we'll go with is just uh, the first packet here. It looks like we have a bunch of the uh, little sticky foams here. Uh, we've got some oblong ones, some circles, uh, different colors, uh, green and brown and, and whatnot. Uh, next one we have here is, uh, looks kind of like a little pulley system. Uh, you've got a, uh, a nut and a, uh, yeah, it looks like a spacer uh, and uh, the nuts or the screws there that go along with it. Um, we've got some, uh, some little dowels right here and uh, a couple of different size like rubber bands. We've got some, some longer thin ones and then we've got some short fat ones there. Uh, we've got some wooden cutout pieces and I'm sure these are the uh, laser cut laminated wood um, looks like we've got that little gecko body right there along with uh, a few other pieces that will make up some of our some of our builds uh, we have a spider right here so this one looks like it's pretty simple it's already put together and it's just a simple piece of cardboard and then we've got uh, some string here looks like we've got kind of a, uh, a light gray there looks like there's a green in there and some orange uh, and whatnot so I'm sure each one of these is kind of corresponded to what one of these builds is uh, and then we've got the kind of the blueprints or the instructions and here you go you can see of course the spider the gecko and the sloth there and uh, it would help if I had it the right way around so uh, I'm looking at it and able to read it but I'm sure you couldn't and that has the drawings there uh, we have this is pretty pretty decent size because we do have, it uh, looks like, three different builds in this one. Uh, some different instructions, separate ones for the sloth, the gecko, and then on the back, I'm sure, yep, there's the spider. So there we go. Uh, so we'll go ahead, we'll go through each one of these builds real quick, uh, kind of uh, get everything put together, and see a little bit of how they work, and, uh, you know, go from there.
right, everybody. Well, we got them all built. Uh, it took a little bit of time, but not too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, try some of this out. Uh, now, I'm just going to kind of hold this up here towards me, and uh, I'll show you kind of how this works with each one. Okay, so the spider, you just kind of take and pull the string, and... Uh, And uh, the nice, th the thing is, is it works off of the pulleys. Uh, one, of course, is larger than the other. So when you pull on the large one, it makes the small one spin. And that's how it winds it up. So uh, there's one. And uh, what you generally do is just tie this off to uh, the top of something. And uh, pulling on it will make it move up, just like we did. Now we'll go ahead and do the sloth. And uh, the sloth is pretty neat. You can, uh, we'll take and move it down so it's towards the bottom of the string here. And right up and out. Now, uh, the way this is looped around through these uh, through these dowels here is what causes that friction. When you pull this way, it kind of cinches it tight around the dowels, and it doesn't want to move, so it slides down between the two felt pieces, and the string slides between these two dowels. So uh, that's how it kind of pulls it up. Then these are nice and tight; they clamp down on the string. So then, when you release the pressure off of the rubber band this string goes loose and can slide easily out through the bottom and then continues to go up and then the last one the gecko which is kind of the most uh, intricate one but uh, you have this little crossbar here and the crossbar then has the two strings that the gecko is attached to and uh, when it moves this crossbar moves up and down with the strings because you're pulling on one side then pulling on the other and so it's going to make this move and when it does that that's what lets it slide uh, now the two little pieces that we put in his uh, front front paws or hands or whatever you want to call them uh, one's static uh, it doesn't really have any place to move but the other one does and because that one has a little bit of room to move when uh, the tension is put on it in a certain way it causes it to shift and it pinches down on the cord so it makes it so that it can uh, pull up the string now let's see if we can get this one kind of climbing up for you Then when you release the uh, tension on the strings, he will, uh, of course, slide right back down. So there we go, uh, friction climbers. But uh, yeah, they're really cool. Uh, not real hard to build, just make sure you watch and pay attention to the way that the directions are. For the most part, they're pretty simple and straightforward. They, they show you good pictures and everything. Uh, as to as to how to build them and of course you can kind of see my progression as I uh, put these together too so you can kind of use that as a reference if you like all right guys well my name's Cooker this is another episode from a Kiwi's Tinker Crate here on World of Me if you guys want to check this out and go check out uh, any of the other boxes that they have on uh, Tinker Crate or Kiwi Crate you can go down there in the description below we will have a link to it there also, while you're down there, don't forget to check out our social media outlets. And uh, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And let us know that you appreciate the content. 
And uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know, we're gonna have the little ones floating around the corner, those little icons, or you can hit the red button down below the video. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon. That bell icon will let you get notified when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys, my name's Cougar. I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye.